Another change of season Slipping through my life I can't recall believing That I'd make it here alive Hi, I'm Al Leiter, two-time World Series champion. I pitched for the Mets and the Yankees, and now I'm a baseball analyst for MLB Network and Yes Network. Like you, I'm from Ocean County. I grew up in Berkeley Township, and I went to Central Regional High School. The Ocean County Prosecutor's Office has developed a video we'd like you to watch and remember. Too many tragedies occur when a driver of a car acts irresponsibly. Drinking or texting while driving or speeding are choices, and their consequences are avoidable. We want you to enjoy going out with your friends and doing the things that you love, but we want you to think hard each time you get behind the wheel of a car. And if you're a passenger in a car, if you see this type of behavior, it's okay to speak up. Please remember, always drive safely. Hey, Rory. Jim, you ready for that chem test today? You ready for prom? What are you asking? I want to know if you want to have a wonderful time, the night of your life. I want to know if you want to go to prom with me. Jim, I'm really sorry, but I'm already going to prom with Kurt. Thank you for asking. So you think Rory's gonna be at the after party? Everyone's gonna be there. Think she's gonna bring her chess club date? Doesn't matter to me. I'm going to Ben Schramer's for the beverages and the fine conversation. Dude, don't drink your sorrows away in front of her. That's embarrassing. Dude, are you sure you're okay to drive? Sure, I'm sure. How many beers have you had, like four? And I could have four more, see? Wouldn't make a difference. I got something they like to call a high tolerance. Whatever you say, man. What's the next thing you remember? I don't know. Waking up, maybe? I remember tasting blood in my mouth. Everything felt kind of swimmy. I turned and saw Buddy. I tried to wake him up, but the dashboard was pressed against his chest pinning him to the seat. The car that we hit, or hit us, I'm not really sure, it was still there. I couldn't see if the driver was all right. And why is that? There's too much blood on the windshield. It blocked out everything. Can, can I go home yet? There was one fatality at the scene. Two other victims are now in the hospital in critical condition. And you were driving with a blood alcohol level of .08. Not that it matters since you're only 18. Somebody died? Your parents are on the way. We'll let you know when they're here. Hello? Don't I get a phone call or something? No, no, please, no! You need to come with me, Jim. I have something to show you. Something, something to show you. Rory, is that you? What? are you? I'm dead, thanks to you. Where the hell are we? 
Both his thigh bones are crushed, internal bleeding, four cracked ribs and a damaged breastplate. And worst of all, his lower spine. He's paralyzed from the waist down. No more college scholarships for Buddy. No more going to the bathroom without help either for the rest of his life. It doesn't end there. Buddy's little brother, you know, Aiden, he's going to try drugs to deal with the emotional pain from this night. Buddy's parents, finances, and marriage are going to suffer from here on out for the rest of their lives. Please, stop. No more. Whatever you're doing is making me sick. I'm just making you see the consequences of your actions. It's making me sick, too. Who's that? Mr. and Mrs. Blackwood, my date's parents. He died six minutes ago on the operating table. Mrs. Blackwood, a recovering alcoholic, after tonight is going to start drinking again. In three months, Mr. Blackwood is going to have a stroke, brought on by the stress of losing his only son and watching his wife fall off the wagon. We're at school? Thank you for asking. I actually didn't have a date with Kurt yet. I asked him that afternoon. Then why did you say no? Jim, I know you. You drink a lot. Every weekend, every party. But you never let anyone else drive you home. Then why didn't you tell me that? Why didn't you say something? You wouldn't have heard me anyway. It's like hearing whispers from a ghost. How are we? Shh. I'm embarrassed that you asked me, Rory. And why is that? <sighs> I've had a crush on you since the third grade. I should have asked you. Why didn't you? I just thought. Where are we? At the intersection of Route 70 and Chambers Bridge, where I died. You're at the hospital getting checked out. They've already carted off Buddy and Kurt. I'm the last one. And why is that? I died on impact. I can't believe this is all because of me. to drive. I lost my son, James, on May 13, 2011. 
Uh, it was 11 days before his 18th birthday. He was a backseat passenger in a car with his seatbelt on. The driver was not drinking. Um, he had his license for 30 days, but he was speeding at some points doing in excess of 120 miles an hour. That was my reality. My life became a nightmare. It does and can happen to anybody, and we have to be more responsible with our decisions. When we get into a vehicle, that's a weapon. We, have, we are responsible for the lives of the people in our vehicle and for the other people on the road. We'll never be the same people we were before that day. When I dream of my son now, it's beautiful he's in my dream. And when I wake up, my reality is, is the nightmare. So when you have a dream and you wake up all relieved that whatever happened bad didn't happen, my life is the opposite. My name is Joe Coronado. I'm the Ocean County Prosecutor. I'd like to thank everybody involved in this production. The intent here is to save a life. The teenager has to understand the consequences of their action. Drinking and driving, texting and high speed can only lead to one result, and that is the death of somebody. Another change of season Slipping through my life Can't recall